guys, welcome back to Now Streaming with me, Frank Javier. Thank you for joining me, joining me once again. And today I'm doing another review, this time for Snake Eyes, the new G.I. Joe origin story. Now, a little bit of a premise for this movie is based on the famous character Snake Eyes, played by Henry Golding. And we follow him through his journey as he becomes a ninja taken in by an ancient ninja clan and he learns their ways and he also finds a home in the process. Now this movie I was eager to watch because from the trailer it looked like a cool action movie, it had a lot of color, a lot of style to it, so I thought ooh this is, this is kinda something that I wanna watch. I grew up with the cartoons and having the action figures, even though I don't remember anything about the story, I grew up with that so you know I wanna go and see it. I was very disappointed with what I saw. Now, I don't want to scare you, I don't want to make you not go watch the movie. The movie is very entertaining. It, I mean, it's a Hollywood studio, big budget movie, so of course it's going to have its action that we are all going to be entertained by. It's just not executed or done very well. So the movie's not bad, it's not great, it's somewhere in the middle, it's passable. Now the issue that I have with the movie really lies with I don't understand why Hollywood sometimes puts out movies that are overproduced, over edited, a lot of they're trying to go for too much instead of keeping it simple. So this movie for me for example, the fight sequences, which is what this movie should be known for because it's a G.I. Joe movie and ninjas, I was very disappointed that I could barely follow the, the action going on because the shaky camera, handheld camera that they use, it was all over the place. It was very hard to follow. It, I even asked myself the question, is, is the guy holding the camera, is he drunk? Like, what's going on? So that is the first thing for me that I was kind of like, oh man, like why would they do that? Number two, they have trained fighters in the movie, but somehow the fighting just doesn't seem natural or flow naturally. And I hate seeing when people clearly look like they're being held by a string or in a harness, kind of like Matrix. With Matrix, we loved it because it was the first time we saw it done well. But that was, you know, that was like 20 years ago or more. This is a brand new movie in 2021. It should look better than the way it looked in this movie. So for me, that was a huge, huge miss. Now, one of the things that this movie has going against it is that we action fans, we have been spoiled by smaller budget films like John Wick. John Wick has done a niche genre by itself of action movies, fighting action movies, where they clearly put a lot of emphasis in the fighting, the choreography, the way we shoot it, and the realism of those fights make it unique and amazing. That's why John Wick has been so successful. So a movie like G.I. Joe that also has fighting elements and ninjas and all this cool stuff going on, I don't understand why they go so over it, over like they so heavy-handed in the fighting stuff. When if they kept it simple like John Wick, it would be amazing. I don't know how else to describe this movie except you will enjoy it, but you will not leave satisfied. As soon as you leave the theater, you'll be like, "Oh, cool. I watched Snake Eyes. It was nice." That's it. It will not be memorable. Unfortunately, also this movie has going against it that Shang-Chi from Marvel is coming out soon. Probably very similar style to this one and I guarantee you Marvel will do a better job than this one. And even if Shang-Chi is not what we expect, even if it's bad, a bad movie, which I doubt it because it's Marvel, but even if the movie is not great, we will be more satisfied with Shang-Chi because it's Marvel and we will quickly forget Snake Eyes. So unfortunately for this franchise, this is not the movie that I think they were hoping to give a reboot to the franchise and make it go big again. And I'm really sad for Henry Golding because I feel like he was perfectly cast for this movie 
and this should be the big movie that sets his career to movie stardom. He's a big actor and well-known actor already, but this is the kind of movie that could have really exploded him into that movie star status, and it wasn't it. I kept thinking throughout the movie, throughout the movie about the new trailer for Dune. If you haven't seen that trailer, go see it. But I kept thinking through that through the movie that Dune is going to be the movie that throws Timothy Ch Chalamet through the ceiling and will make him a worldwide big star. He's very famous right, right now. He's like the it boy in Hollywood. But this movie will give him that big movie star status. And Snake Eyes should have been that for Henry Golding. And unfortunately, it's not going to be it. So if you guys agree with what I'm saying or don't agree with what I'm saying, please comment below. I'm really interested to know what you guys thought about the movie. I, I did enjoy it. It's just I wanted more. So please share down below in the comments what you guys thought about the movie. And as always, there's more reviews coming up soon, plus the ones that I have already uh, posted. So please take a look. Again, like always, click subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.